Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about my 10 most anticipated Blu-ray and 4K titles that are coming out in the month of September 2022. This is a huge month. Uh, for physical media, guys, we are getting into the fall season. Things are really starting to heat up. But before I get into talking about it, I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber to the Middle Level Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button for more great content. We do tons of stuff on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media. If you like 4Ks and Blu-rays and all that kind of talk and, and business and owning the movies that you love, definitely hit that subscribe button. And then be sure to, to like this video, guys. Liking videos is severely underrated, so I definitely appreciate it if you like this video. And then comment down below of everything that's coming out in the month of September, what's your top five, what's your top 10, what's your top 15 most anticipated for the month of September, let me know in that comment section below. And then turn on the bell notifications for all future videos. So let's jump right into it, guys. And again, I'm going to go over my 10 most anticipated titles for the month of September. Then I'm gonna give you some honorable mentions. And then we're gonna go into some just other notable stuff uh, that's coming out in this month. So I'm sure there's stuff that you're gonna be like, Ken, you're not looking forward to this? And I'm going to be like, no, but I'll mention it later on. I'll mention it later on. It's like, you know, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. But the 10 that I have right here are must owns. I will absolutely get them. So let's start with September the 6th, my first most anticipated that's coming out in the month of September. And I'm going to cheat a little bit right here, right off the bat. I know it's early and I'm already cheating, but the Star Trek 4Ks that are coming out from Paramount on September the 6th, I am definitely anticipating. So the only question here is, do I just go ahead and get this six film set for $120? Or do I just get all these films standalone? I don't know, I'm conflicted. I, I, I've i heard you know various things on these movies that the first one sucks, don't get it, but I feel like I need to get the first one because it's the first one. Uh, I've had some people say get two, three, and four. I've had some people say get two, four, and six. So many random assortments of which Star Trek movies I should get that I just don't know. I might just get all six. Now, am I gonna get the six film set? Probably not. I just don't like all the stuff in the box set. If I had the option to get the slipcovers, I think I'm just going to buy all of them with the slipcovers, or maybe I just get one through four. I don't know what's going on, but I'm definitely excited for these Star Trek 4Ks. I've never seen any of the Star Trek films. I will be excited to watch these for the first time in 4K. And I've heard that Wrath of Khan is the absolute best of the series, so I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. But yeah, the, the beginning of September is Star Trek Mania. You're getting the first six Star Trek films in this box set. You're also getting all of them with standalone slip covers. You're getting a new director's cut version of the first one with a box set as well. So just so much Star Trek coming out on this day. I don't know which ones I'm going to get, but I'm definitely going to be getting some of them. I'll probably just end up getting all six with a slip cover. That's probably what I'm going to do and I'll just spend the extra money. But the Star Trek 4Ks, let me know if you're excited for those in the comment section below. Now let's get into my second most anticipated. This one also comes out on September the 6th and this is 310 to Yuma 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook from Lionsgate for $19.99. So I watched 310 to Yuma actually for the first time this year. I love the movie. Christian Bale and Russell Crowe are absolutely fantastic in this film. So I cannot wait to own this. But again, even if I don't love the movie, I will collect every single Lionsgate steelbook that they come out with because I think that they're beautiful and definitely collector's items. And they're just so cheap at $19.99. Like nobody else is doing incredible steelbook work like this and, and putting them out there for affordable prices. So I will collect every single one of these that they put out in store. So definitely anticipating that 310 to Yuma 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And I haven't seen this movie in 4K yet either. I watched it on Blu-ray uh, when I watched it earlier this year. So looking to see how that upgrade is. Now let's get into September the 13th and my third most anticipated title um, in the month of September, and that is The Fog on 4K from Screen Factory coming out for $27.99. So I have already pre-ordered this one. I think when it first went up, I pre-ordered it. The Fog isn't necessarily one of my favorite John Carpenter films. I don't even know if it would crack my top five, to be honest. I do like it a lot, and I have been watching the movie since I was a kid. I don't own this movie on Blu-ray. I just own it on DVD, so this is going to be a definite upgrade for me. And I'm really looking forward to it because I feel like the fog is going to look so good 
um, in the 4K format. And yeah, I just, I cannot wait to get this one with a new slip cover. And I love that classic uh, poster artwork and just to get to watch the special features and, and all that good stuff. So $27.99 right now, currently on Amazon, or you can pre-order it on, on Screen Factor, Shout Factor website for just a little bit more, but definitely anticipating the fog on 4K coming out on September the 13th. Now let's get into my next one. And September the 13th is a really big week. There's tons of stuff coming out, but I just have four things that I'm covering here for this particular date. My number four is Real Genius on 4K from Sony for $22.99. So I don't know too much about this movie. I know Val Kilmer's in it. I know it's from, I think, 1985, which was my birth year. Um, but again, I love the cover artwork on this, and I've heard good things about the movie, and it just seems like a cool choice uh, to put out on 4K. It's not like a boutique label or anything. I feel like a movie like this, it, it kind of reminds me of like just what the title of like Weird Science or something like that. I don't know if it's anything like that movie at all. Uh, but it's just a cool choice to put out from a studio label, um, you know, on 4K. Real genius. Again, let me know if you're a fan of the movie in the comment section. I haven't seen it, but I am excited to watch this one on 4K. I mean, it's freaking Val Kilmer for crying out loud on 4K. Real genius coming out on September the 13th. Now let's get into my fifth most anticipated, and it has to be... Friday the 13th coming out in 4K from Paramount for $19.99. So I know a lot of people are saying that this is not going to be too much of an upgrade, but I could not disagree more. I think this movie is going to look absolutely uh, fantastic in 4K, and I just cannot wait uh, to see Betsy Palmer's Killer Mommy Killer in 4K. I just think that's going to look great, just that up close, that facial detail. Betsy Palmer, it's going to look fantastic. I cannot wait for this. I love Friday the 13th. I love the entire series. I hope they put all of these movies out on 4K um, at some point. But yeah, Friday the 13th, 4K coming out from Paramount for $19.99 with that classic poster artwork on the cover. I love it. I cannot wait for Friday the 13th on 4K on September the 13th. My next one, my next most anticipated, my number six, is a newer movie, and it's Elvis coming out from Warner Brothers on 4K for $29.99 and Blu-ray for $24.99. Now, I think it's been rumored that this one might get a steelbook, but I think they pulled back on that, so I don't know if this is going to get an actual Best Buy exclusive steelbook or not, but I did not get a chance to see this movie in theaters, and I'm dying to see this film. I've heard great things about it. Um, and I just love musical biopics. I'm one of those people that, that love Bohemian Rhapsody. I know some people don't like that movie. I loved Rocket Man. I just, I love all these musical biopics that we're getting as of lately. So Elvis is definitely on my high anticipated list and I cannot wait to get this one on 4K for Warner Brothers on September the 13th. Now let's get into September 20th and this is a huge day. There's two things coming out today that are, that are huge that we've been rumoring and anticipating for over a year and everybody got super excited when these were first brought up uh, and announced. And, and the first one is Poltergeist on 4K from Warner Brothers uh, for $25.99 for the 4K. And there's also a Steelbook, a Best Buy exclusive Steelbook for $31.99 as well. So Poltergeist on 4K, if you watch my video from the other day, my top 25 horror titles that's coming out in the fall, Poltergeist was my number one. So this is my most anticipated, one of my most anticipated uh, releases for the rest of the year. I cannot wait to see this movie on 4K. I think it's gonna look amazing. And Poltergeist, it's just, it's one of the greatest horror movies of all time. It's definitely probably in my top 10 horror films of all time, and I cannot wait to see this movie in 4K. So I am anxiously, anxiously anticipating this release coming out on September the 20th. And now let's get into the other big one that's coming out on September the 20th that I don't have that built-in nostalgia and fondness for, but what, from what everybody's saying, I'm actually really excited to watch this one for the first time, and that is The Lost Boys. Coming out on 4K from Warner Brothers uh, for $23.79 just for the standalone 4K with the slipcover, and then $31.99 for the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. So yeah, The Lost Boys, again, I have not seen this movie. I know everybody freaks out. You all are probably all gonna freak out again. You freak out every time I tell you in the comments section, but I haven't seen The Lost Boys. This will be a first time watch for me. Now I have seen, I remember like bits and pieces on TV when I was a kid, but again, I have not seen this movie, I believe, in its entirety. So I am super, super excited to watch The Lost Boys for the first time in the best possible format. Yeah, this is a killer month 
uh, for Warner Brothers, by the way. Coming out with Elvis, Poltergeist, The Lost Boys. They're just, they're absolutely killing it this month. And Warner Brothers usually does a really good job with their 4K upgrades and transfers. So I have high hopes on September the 20th that Poltergeist and The Lost Boys are going to be two of the best 4K releases of the entire year of 2022. So these are definitely two of the highest, most anticipated titles for most people, and they are for me as well. So The Lost Boys on 4K coming out on September the 20th is my eighth most and I don't even know why I'm doing the hands anymore. Eight, eight. I don't even know how. What? What, what fingers? Are, let's get into my number nine. And this was my second most anticipated horror release for the rest of the year, and that is Evil Dead. 2013 coming out in 4k from screen factory for 27 99. Again, I pre-ordered this one along with the fog when it was first announced. I knew I wanted this one. Now this is going to include the theatrical cut and the director's cut, which is super cool. Uh, but I, I cannot wait to watch this movie in 4k. It's one of my favorite horror films of the past 10 years. Such a great remake. Maybe quite possibly the best horror remake uh, that they've ever done. And again, uh, some people, I think a lot of people actually would say that this is up there in terms of quality of the first Evil Dead movies. It's actually my favorite. It's completely different tonally, um, but I just, I love this movie so much. So I can kind of separate it for this one from the originals a little bit, but it is honestly my favorite film of the Evil Dead franchise, even though I do respect the tone and the campiness of the originals. I just love this movie so much. It's just one of my favorite uh, horror movies. And I cannot wait to watch this one in 4k and that whole final sequence with the chainsaw and raining blood and the fire in the background it's just it's all going to look so perfect um in 4k and i just have 100 confidence that screen factory is going to do a great job on this 4k transfer and i cannot wait to watch this one on september the 27th let's get into my number 10 this is a little hard because there was two coming out this week i was kind of trying to pick between but i'm going to say that in bruges is my number 10 most anticipated coming out on 4K uh, from Kino Lorber for $27.99. So Kino Lorber has been absolutely killing it in the 4K format this year. So I have full confidence that they're going to do an excellent job with this 4K release. And I have not seen this movie before, starring Colin Farrell, directed by Michael McDonough. I have not seen this movie before, but I have heard fantastic things about it. So I cannot wait to watch this one uh, for the first time in 4K. Now let's get into some of my honorable mentions here real quick. So we do have the Fun House coming out on 4K from Screen Factory on September the 6th. So I'm definitely anticipating this one, but it just couldn't crack into my top 10. I heard good things about it. I heard it's going to look great um, in 4K just because of that, you know, just aesthetic of the movie. So I am looking forward to it, but it couldn't get into my top 10. Platoon on 4K, definitely looking forward to that one as well. Coming out from Shout Factory on September the 13th. Next we have Monty Python, The Meaning of Life on 4K. 4K coming out from Universal on September the 13th. So I really am excited for this. It almost made it into my top 10, but not quite. But really excited to watch this movie for the first time. Haven't seen it. And I love a good spoof comedy. So definitely excited for that one. Cool World coming out on Blu-ray from Shout Factor on September the 13th. So I'm just happy that this movie is getting a Blu-ray now. I don't know. This is, a, this is a movie that I have a fondness for. I watched it all the time when I was a kid. I know it's not as good as like Who Framed Roger Rabbit as far as like live action and animation, uh, but I did, I'm just excited to rewatch this one and see like, does this movie hold up at all or is it just complete like a uh, horrible shit show from the early 90s that I should have avoided and not picked up? I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about Cool World coming to Blu-ray from Shout Factor? But I'm definitely excited for it. Drive from 1997, not the Ryan Gosling Drive, is coming out on 4K from 88 Films on September the 13th. So I'm definitely interested um, in this one. And I don't think I've checked out a film on 4K from 88 Films. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that transfer is like. We also have King Kong from 1933 coming out from Warner Archive on September the 20th. So this is actually probably my favorite King Kong film. I love this movie. I watched it on HBO Max a couple of years ago, right before Kong versus Godzilla came out. And I just fell in love with it. I loved it. And it just constantly amazes me how you go back and watch these older films from the early 30s. And you're like, how did they do that back then but it's an amazing movie it's got you know the stop motion effects and stuff and i just thought it was really well done really well paced and i just really enjoyed uh the story of king kong from 1933 so i'm looking forward to getting this warner archive edition and adding it to the collection on september the 20th we also got i know what you did last summer on 4k coming out from sony on september the 27th so this one almost made it into my top 10 as well but again i had to remember this is not one of my favorite slashers. This is one that I am kind of excited to see, and I'm definitely going to buy it, but I can't say that I love the movie, so I couldn't get it 
in my top 10. But that's my honorable mentions. Let's get into some of the other uh, more notable titles that's coming out in the month of September. These are all ones, maybe I'll get a couple of these, but more than likely I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot of the releases that I'm getting ready to mention. But maybe you are. Again, if you are excited for some of these, let me know in the comment section below. But we have Minions. Rise of Gru. Anybody excited for Minions Rise of Gru? This is getting a 4K and a Blu-ray from Universal on September the 6th. We also have Blowouts coming out on 4K from Criterion on September the 6th. So I don't have Blowout in the, in the collection. I am looking forward to watching this one. Brian De Palma film. I do want to see all of his films at some point, but I don't feel like I'm going to get this one in September. I'll probably end up waiting till the Criterion sale in November to pick this one up. So I don't know, who knows? Maybe I'll go ahead and get it. But there's just a lot of stuff coming out in that first week of September with the Star Trek 4Ks. I don't think I'm gonna get a uh, blowout on 4K, but I'm definitely looking forward to watching it once I finally get it. Lightyear on 4K is coming out, getting a Blu-ray and a steel book and all that stuff from Disney on September the 13th. So and this is on Disney Plus. I honestly, like, I think it went on Disney Plus like a month ago. I'm just not that excited to see this one. I haven't even watched it with my kids yet, so I'm definitely not going to buy it on 4K and Blu-ray and Steelbook and, and all that stuff. So I'll end up watching this at some point, but it's going to be on Disney Plus before I purchase it uh, physically. We also have Fatal Attraction coming out on 4K from Paramount on September the 13th. So this is, you know, I have the Paramount Presents. I like Fatal Attraction. It's just not one that I feel like upgrading uh, to 4K immediately, or I feel like I need to upgrade to 4K immediately. I'll probably get it somewhere down the line when there's a sale or something. We got Crawl on 4K coming out from Paramount on September the 20th. So I think this is supposed to have like extra special features in it. I don't own Crawl on Blu-ray. So this is one that I can see going ahead and grabbing uh, when it drops in price a little bit. I did like the movie, but just not enough to purchase on 4K. Day one, we have the Batman, the Long Halloween Deluxe Edition on 4K from Warner Brothers on September the 20th. So this is the uh, Long Halloween that combines part one and part two. I think both of those came out on Blu-ray last year. Now they're combining them both and putting it out in 4K. I'm not interested in this at all. I'm just not big into the DC animated stuff. We also have Kingdom of the Crystal Skull 4K Steelbook coming out from Paramount on September the 20th. So this is the fourth Indiana Jones Steelbook coming out. And I'm just, I'm really interested to see how many people pick this one up. Of everybody that was, uh, you know, collecting the Indiana Jones Steelbooks, I'm interested in seeing how many pick this up, despite the fact that most people do not enjoy this movie. I actually like this movie. I'm not going to get the Steelbook because I haven't been picking up any of them. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of a, a Kingdom of the Crystal Skull defender, I feel like. I do like that movie. It's definitely not as good as the first three, but I do like it. So I'm just interested to see who all is going to pick this up, despite the fact that they know... They hate the movie. Now get into the next one. We got the War of the Worlds on 4K. Paramount Presents coming out September 27th. I might end up getting this. I don't know. I had the I had the Criterion. It's a good enough edition. It looks great in the Criterion version. So I don't know if I need this 4K. But I do like the the cover art and getting the slip cover. And I do like collecting for Paramount Presents. So who knows? The Sound of Metal is coming out on 4K from Criterion on September the 27th. We got Thor: Love and Thunder coming out a 4K Blu-ray, a Walmart edition 4K, a Steelbook from Best Buy coming out from Disney on September the 27th. So I, I like Thor Love and Thunder. Okay, but again, it's another Disney title, Marvel title that I just don't feel like I need to get day one. The Monsters, I am absolutely going to get on Blu-ray from Universal on September 27th, but I can't say I'm, I'm the most excited, but I'm definitely going to get it. I'm definitely going to watch it. The Mean Girls Blu-ray Steelbook coming out from Paramount on September the 27th, the, the Burn Book Steelbook. It looks really cool. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I have Mean Girls on Blu-ray. I don't know if I'm going to get this one, but maybe I feel like getting this steel book right before it comes out. I have no idea, but that's kind of the broad strokes of what's coming out in September, guys. Again, there's much more stuff that's coming out. We're going to cover that week to week on the Physical Media Report. So if you want to know that rundown every single week of what's coming out in September, tune into the Physical Media Report every single Monday. But that is my most anticipated for the month of September. Again, let me know what yours is in the comment section below. Also, be sure to like this video, turn on those bell notifications for all future videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and follow me on all all my social media accounts, those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.